Hello everyone, this is Beth with another fragrance review. Today I have here Azaro Wanted. This is the EDT. I have the 50 ml, which cost me about 40 euro on Amazon. Uh, this was discounted. I think usually it should cost you about 50 to 60 dollars for the 50 ml. I'm not sure about the 100 ml. Anyway, it's definitely not expensive. The bottle is the infamous barrel of a gun. I'm not sure if this is brass, but it looks like it could be. And there's this really cool thing that I've discovered. When you take off the cap, you can extremely easily take off the top, the sprayer. So you could dab it on if you decide to do that. Or when you're done with this fragrance, when, when you don't use it anymore, and when you're, you're finished it, you can fill it with a different fragrance. You can refill the bottle. And this is really cool, unless you really hate the bottle. And I must say it looks a bit, looks a bit tacky, but at the same time it's fun. And it's meant to be fun, because this is a happy, fun, uh, outgoing fragrance. Oh, by the way, uh, let me spray, let me spray some on. I've had it on all day, actually. Now it's evening where I live, and I'm still smelling it. And I've also, I've also reapplied it after a shower, but definitely, I could smell it throughout my whole work day, so this actually lasts. And it projects fairly well. It projects for a couple of hours. Uh, it's not beast projection, but it's definitely sharp. So you may want to go easy on the sprayer. Probably one or uh, two spray maximum. Especially if you're an, uh, in an indoor environment, in a climate controlled environment. Don't go crazy on the sprayer because this will get you noticed even with just one spray. But back to the fragrance. Uh, this was created in 2016. And it's produced by Firmenich, Germany, actually. Uh, I've just found out that it's produced by this, um, this uh, house, this firm. And the nose is Fabrice Pellegrin. The top notes are lemon, ginger, lavender, and mint. The heart notes are apple, juniper, geranium, cardamom. And the base notes are tonka bean, vetiver and amber wood. So, at the start, it comes off very sharp. Again, I, I just said it, but it really does. And I smell a lemon and ginger blast. But I could swear there's pineapple in this, even if, even if it's not mentioned in the notes, because I really smell something very very similar to a pineapple vibe which is great uh, this reminds me a lot of the opening of Pacaraban Invictus I can also definitely smell the mint it's a bitter kind of mint an aquatic kind of mint and it gives off uh, also a little bit of a melon type of vibe this aquatic melon vibe with some uh, ginger and sweet lemonade accord. It, it's really, it's really good. It's really happy. <laughs> it's happy. Then as it gets to the heart, I smell more and more of the apple. I smell some earthiness. I smell, this is actually greener. This fragrance is greener than I thought it would be. It has a herbaceous kind of touch and I think that's probably from the juniper, the vetiver and, um, and the tonka bean. No, I mean, sorry, and the geranium. But it all blends with tonka bean at the bottom and with the woods, which makes it even sweeter. So this has some depth to it. It's not as linear as it may seem uh, on a first wearing. 
Uh, it actually, yeah, it has some, some earthiness to it, which I really enjoy. And it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not cloying, provided, again, that you don't go overboard with the sprays. Uh, today at work, a co-worker uh, told me uh, that she smelled a really nice lemonade kind of a cord, and I agree. Uh, and later during the day, I got this really, really weird comment from another female co-worker who said uh, that she smelled some bitter, some bitterness when she smelled it on me. And I think she may have been referring to the green aspect of this. Maybe she perceives ginger as a more bitter note, which is, it could be, it could be. But then again, every nose varies. I prefer the, uh, the ginger accord I find in YSL Lone, but that's a whole different kind of fragrance. This lasts, again, this lasts and projects. It will get you noticed. I think it's a very outgoing scent, perfect for any age, and it can definitely be unisex. I actually know of other girls who have bought this for themselves. And yeah, it, it's definitely a people pleaser. And it's not bad at all. I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. And I'm smelling it as I speak. This is why I keep interrupting myself. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good. It's good, it's carefree. Yeah, it'll put you in a good mood. It probably, probably will. And that's important, you know, when fragrances affect the way you feel. That's important. So, with that said, I guess that's it. <laughs> See you next time.